Hey Todd, just real quickly, I uh, figured out how to deal with this. Uh, essentially, you have to embed it first before you can add the SRT file. She was trying to add SRT to it while it was in the files folder, and it's, it has to be embedded in a page first. So the way you do that, I've got a test page created here. This button allows you to embed media. So I'm, gonna, I'm going to embed a course media file, which is where it's at right now. It's in files. So from course files, this is 13.1. So I'm going to embed that now. Once I've got it embedded, then I can click on it, hit video options. Uh, I can select the proper, uh, I'm going to go ahead and select the proper language. And I'm going to upload the file. Now the kicker is the file has to have exactly the same name as the video only .srt instead of .mp4. So when I do that, it's going to throw a fit and tell me that it can't find it or something's wrong. But it doesn't matter because when you save it, I'm going to save and publish. Now when I click on it in the settings, now I have the captions option. And if I set it to English and play, this is our first lecture video for chapter Now 13. you'll see the uh, subtitles. So that's how you have to do it. You can't do it from the no, files where she's got it right now. You have to embed it. So she needs to go back and embed it and then click on it. Click the files option button. So she needs to go back, embed the video in the page that it's going to go into, and then click the files option button. That will be available to her after she embeds it in the page. So that's what the problem was. Uh, if that works, let me know, or if it doesn't work, you have any further questions, let me know, and I'll pick it up tomorrow. It looks like it's about time to go home.